The snake is coming out from Elixir over here. And like I said, I did hear a PS2 in that in that uh, button check. And I better be seeing a PS2. Yes, I mm -hmm. will be. And we are starting off nice and easy. The big thing about Snake is he has his projectiles that will definitely stuff out a lot of Fox's uh, approach options. Yeah. So the thing about this matchup is Snake wants to just like get the setups. Fox doesn't allow you to set up because he's just all up in your face, just mm -hmm. as you see right now. But the thing about this matchup is I think it comes down to the way that Elixir decides to use his explosives. Not only that, but the grenade trades. Who of is going course. to start taking full advantage? Obviously, you're going to see a lot of grenade trades, just like you see right there. But what is the game plan? Do I pull out another grenade? Do I just attack? Do I, I wait patiently? Trades. Absolutely. Yeah, look at that. And already a quick 83 in favor of Elixir. Mm -hmm. And we were seeing some setups on the on uh, Elixir side. Anyway, we got C4 on Ooh. the way for the Pokeball. And there's that up tilt. Boom, bam, bop. That's the first stock taken as soon as this game just started. We have two fast characters, fast-paced gameplay we should be seeing here. Uh, and the C4 going off and... You know, Sunfish trying to continue off, but there's another juggle with the up air. Another. Oh, we're going back here instead. Now, what can we do to recover? Oh, we're going to contest and we're going to go with the upbeat. That was just great awareness from Sunfish's part. I mean, just calling out every single uh, placement that uh, Elixir was going to be. Yep. Right here, has a good chance to get an edge guard. Going to allow himself to back, get, get back on stage. It is oh, Elixir, but even then, going to get the stock with that up smash. Finally, but a quick 77 already racked up of extra credit. Absolutely, extra is what you definitely need in the matchup because once Salt Fox has that lead going, oh my god, it's only more, more difficult to even even the stocks back up in your favor. But this is a really good edge guard, and with the Nikita, we are definitely going to be taking that second stock away from Sunfish and only 19% 19, 19 on your own self. <laughs> wow. To start off. You just stood there menacingly and you <laughs> took a whole explosive and then some to the face. And now Elixir. Having a dominating start to this first game, really showcasing what Jersey is all about to these MTVA heads. But, I mean, don't count out a character like Fox. One thing about Fox is that he just needs to get you off stage. And or he has to get off stage. Because unfortunately, with wow. that kind of overextension, <sighs> that commitment, that low against Snake, whose recovery is, you know, one of the best vertical recoveries in the game. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. It's unfortunate. It just seemed like Sunfish just put themselves in the wrong place at the wrong time almost every single time whether it was planned by elixir or not just like that that was unplanned but still somehow some way getting pineappled by ps2 a rare oddity a rare occasion that you see at least uh in that stage but Absolutely. Um, you're just gonna have to shake it off that is game one but welcome to tri-state jersey specifically where you are going to play with some of the biggest we have to offer Absolutely. elixir trying to push himself in the board and the Tri-State Classic is, of course, we're running it right back. We're always running right back to PS2 because we want that run back. We want that equal that equal footing once more with the stage. And right now, you're already seeing Elixir rack up these percentages. 53% already. 58, 69. Nice percent onto, uh, onto Sunfish right now. And Sunfish finally getting an approach with the rapid jab and a little bit of laser damage as well. But we're giving space Snake a little bit too much space. Yeah, so the thing about um, Sunfish is, I, from experience already, I know that they want to camp out. However... You can laser camp all you want. All grenade, all you're gonna oh, see from Snake is, is these explosives. Whether it's grenades, up smash, Nikita, even the C4 has been so menacing. Look at the look at the placements right now. Everything is panning oh out my for God. Elixir. That placement was so beautiful because it, it caught every option you had on these platforms that Fox is kind of chasing you uh, towards. And now Sunfish is in a really dangerous predicament. We have uh, grenade on ledge. We have. Elixir uh, trying to do an edge situation, but maybe he's being the one being edge right now in the, in the reversal situation. Don't do it. Great Ooh. patience right there from from uh, Sunfish, just not opting to go off stage and try to con contest against Snake. Mm -hmm. Just trying to find their openings. You got to play the slow game sometimes because <laughs> every single time you've gotten aggressive, you've practically gotten punished. And now Elixir holding on to a whole stock lead and one up to the way for sure, just like you there see right is. there. I think it's so funny that both of these characters are looking for some kind of up attack, up, whether it be up to or up yeah. smash, uh, respectively. Super, super funny little gameplay right there. But we could be seeing a ledge situation, but no. Alicia comes out of that for free with like, his, his high recovery, and we're going to down there, shooting right through the grenade as well. Sunfish has to do has a mountain to to, to climb. Mm -hmm. The snake is just a heavy character. He was not. He will not die easily. No, yeah, and it's not gonna come easy. I mean, Fox still one of those characters that has a great comeback mechanic in the sense of he can just get aggro and just de deplete stocks so easily. Mm -hmm. However, has not been able to get in on Elixir this whole game. It's just been a, a game of cat and mouse, and it's favored. <gasps> uh, it's favored okay, Elixir so much. Yeah. It <laughs> 
but that side being to fire fuck was, was <laughs> just uh, hitbox. It was a weird fight because I was like, there's no way. But yeah. finally, <laughs> finally, Sunfish gets a, to the start in this match, and then it's a finished match all of a sudden. The lack of awareness of the C4 is Ouch. what did him in. You try to get, you try to play the pa the passive game, you know, play with a bit of patience, but you got to worry about all these explosives going to your side. It's literally just Fort Knox ha all over again, and it's <laughs> not, it's not a pretty sign because you know you got to evade them, you got to get away from them somehow, and if if you're not getting in your opponent's face, you're running away. And look, I mean, you found yeah. you found your openings, but it just seemed a bit too late, and literally. And One thing about down. this matchup, it, it comes down to C4 awareness. You yep. gotta know where those explosives are. You gotta at least somewhat know the timing of when the grenades are going to explode as well, because you know those things really do matter towards you know how far you go in the rest of the set with with a, against a snake. You're absolutely right. When your percentage starts going high, just because you're not aware of those kind of explosive timings, and you know especially C4 being one that's detonatable at any point. Your, your percentage just goes a little bit too high and then the snake does the up tilt or a or up smash or anything like that and you're eating you're just eating that entire percentage yeah. up and that stock and that game actually so really saw a start from both our players for uh, over here uh, for, uh, fusion regional edition all right fusion fusion it's regional region. edition it is a regional Quite indeed. literally but you know that it's so it's so cool like i'm looking at bracket right now and it really does bring a smile to my face it gives me those you know th those pre-quarantine vibes when everybody was on yeah. that grind and you got to see all of the top players whether it was just tri-state alone you always got to see jersey philly and new york come together but now we get those three combined with a few other invaders from other states you know other regions really out here to prove that they can hang with the tri-state people absolutely mm -hmm. all right we got KGP, KGP and Thadimus. Yeah. Thadimus. What a nice tag. Thadimus. 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 He's not like a ancient sounds like Greek a, hero. Sounds like, a, <laughs> sounds like a Phineas and Ferb kind of character. Are you not there watching Phineas and Ferb as a kid? What? <laughs> I, would, 